Oh, if you're, you know, wondering why my room looks like shit, look at my first video of organization and cleanliness. It explains everything. So it is December 31st and I don't know about y'all, but my life is so, not my life, my life is good. My life is okay. Um, but my type B personality, um, you know, create some roadblocks for me. You know, I'm always, always looking to improve myself because I'm always comparing myself to type A as you do because they apparently run the world, literally. And so, you know, I'm always thinking I'm not enough of a hard worker. I don't have enough patience. I'm not, you know, nothing that I do is good enough. Not that I really care. But, I, you know, I feel like my life would be a little bit easier sometimes if I was more on top of things. I feel like my friends and relationships and... Where the hell is that? I just feel like, you know, it would also make things easier for the people around me to be more on top of my shit. Um, and so, every New Year's, I try to make a ton a ton of resolutions and it usually ends up being the same like I don't know how many three or four in general which is be healthier save your money be cleaner and just all around like be more on top of your shit and it never really works out um, I think 306 to make a resolution for the next 365 days like is kind of crazy for me as a type B um, to keep up with that for such a long period of time. I do better with um, short-term goals. I work better under pressure. So to have a resolution, sometimes I can't be like, okay, I'm gonna try to hit the gym five days a week, every week this year. It's a little too much for me, um, you know? And then it also gives you like chances to shit on yourself because if you can't do absolutely every week then as does that ultimately mean you're a failure no but you know setting a goal like that sometimes isn't really feasible for somebody like me so i'll definitely have some resolutions but i think it's been long since i've realized that i can make them and for the first couple of days i can be really um, passionate about them, but I just know that they're they're gonna go down the toilet within a week. And I'm always making resolutions for myself throughout the year too, but as a type B, I get pretty obsessive about resolutions every year. I'm always a little disappointed that I never kept the resolutions from the year before or succeeded in any of the resolutions from the year before, which are usually like a page long in what I wanna do with explanations and details, that I'm always looking for reasons or ways, not reasons, I'm always looking for ways to increase my chances of being successful. Because obviously, integrity, patience, and discipline are hard to come by for me. So I end up having a lot of theories. I tend to believe in you put out the energy that you want to receive. So <clears throat> sometimes I always want to start off the year right. I want to start it off, you know, again, a long list of things that I think would be healthy and positive that if I start off the year that way, if I start off January 1st at 12 a.m. and for the rest of the 24 hours, I have the chance to make an impression on the rest of the year. So, and it's stupid shit. Like, for example, I was telling myself just yesterday that I want to make sure that for New Year's, when, when midnight hits, I want everything that I own that is, yeah, this is an old phone. Everything that I own that needs a battery is fully charged. And I'm not talking about a remote control or anything, but I'm just saying my phone, my camera, my laptop, my iPad, you know, my headphones because in my brain I'm thinking if I start off the year right that the energy that comes out of the new year is going to try to repeat the energy that I give out so if all of my things are charged I'm thinking that it's going to help me stay on top of my shit um, it's going to help me to remember to charge my items um, before they die I, have, I think I have two pairs of wireless headphones 
and I never use them because I tend to lose the charger. And if you've seen my house, you might understand why. So in my brain, if I find everything that needs to be charged and charge it, that's just floating in my brain that I need to do that. The other thing too is, of course, uh, having a clean house. You know, and I feel like a lot of people think that way. Going into the new year, you wanna have a clean house anyways. You wanna start off the year with a clean house. So it's 11 o'clock, I've been up for two and a half hours. And I kind of want to clean the house. So it was like 10.30 earlier when I was getting ready to possibly do some stuff and immediately there's only a few dishes in the sink and so I was going to wash them. I'll clean the dishes, I'll organize the living room, I'll put my clothes away, I'll clean. Hopefully clean this too, but definitely the rest of the house. Um, and that's what I should do today, even though I always think I have time. And that's where my time management comes in and I'll discuss that in another video, but you know, oh, I don't have to leave the house until this time. I have plenty of time. I can just hang out and watch TikToks all the morning. That's what I did for two hours, watch TikToks. I was, you know, I can continue watching TikToks until maybe this time and then I'll start getting my shit together. But I do that all the time thinking I have plenty of time. And then as I'm doing things, I find more things that I want to do or it takes a lot longer than I think. And then I'm running late and panicking and rushing and giving up on certain tasks because I don't have time. So then I was like, you know what? No, start cleaning now. So as I'm making my latte, I start drinking it. I'm thinking about starting to clean. Also going on in my brain. I can't do two things at once, but sometimes two thoughts pop into my brain at the same time. I want to clean, but I also am thinking about what I'm wearing tonight. So we've all decided, my group, friend group and I, um, us, because my boyfriend's technically a part of it, but we found out that yesterday that he's not going to be able to go because he has something that could potentially be infectious, but it, like a rash, where it's probably safer for him to be home, but I can go, if that makes sense. So we all decided that we were going to be as comfortable as possible for New Year's. We're not getting fancy dressed up. I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of my makeup. Like I love, like I said in my last one, I love doing makeup. So I might not do a lot of makeup, but I'm thinking about what I want to wear. I already decided, oh, I'll show you what I'm wearing. This, this is what I'm wearing. It's called a Sherpie. And one of my friends got a comfy. And then I think our other friend got a comfy too. It's called comfy. Uh, and I think it's very, very similar. So we just decided we're gonna wear these. And the host of the party already said she was wearing pajamas. She's like, I'm not even wearing a bra. And I was like, excellent. I don't want to wear real clothes either, so I'll probably be wearing this with some sweatpants or some leggings or maybe some shorts in case I get hot because of course I have to plan that way. So anyways, I was trying to plan what I was wearing. At the same time, I was, I was trying to get started on cleaning. And of course, I'm thinking, oh well if I want to be comfortable, I want to wear my fake Uggs. But this one had the whole like toe of the shoe separated from the sole of the shoe. So I have been wanting, it, it. I think it happened last year and I just never got around to fixing it as a classic type B personality, but I wanted to wear it, wear them tonight. So this is where I'm not diagnosed with anything. I don't know if I truly have anxiety, if that's something that needs to be diagnosed before I can say that I have anxiety. I don't know if I'm an introvert, Again, I don't know if that's something that you need to be diagnosed with. I would never say that I have clinically, like clinical this or clinical that. But my brother, my mother, my uncle all have ADD or ADHD. So it's quite possible I have ADHD and or ADD as well. So instead of cleaning, because that's boring and takes more energy, probably not more energy, but I am now fixing the shoe and taking an hour to do that instead of cleaning right after I told myself that I want to clean house for New Year's but anyways so yeah I think there are so many other I don't know if it's superstition is it superstition if you make it up yourself or does it have to be socially accepted 
I have these slight superstitions and theories and hopes that if I were to do certain things on the first of the year, that it will help me get my shit together for the rest of the year. But again, type B. I have this list of things that I want to do between the last day of the year and then first day of the next year that I think are going to help me, and yet I still don't have the motivation to do most of it. So me fixing these boots has nothing to do with trying to make my life easier the next year. It's just simply that I've been meaning to fix them and I want to wear them tonight and I have the time, so I'm going to spend the time fixing them because I would much rather be fixing these and getting the satisfaction of wearing them tonight, which greatly outweighs the disinterest in cleaning my house and apparently the satisfaction that would arise from having a clean house. Because in my brain, well, I can have a clean house any day I want, but I'm only gonna have one chance to wear these boots on New Year's. Well, not one chance, but one chance a year. Or I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I think I'll probably try to finish this. Then I might take a shower or I might find motivation to put all my clothes away at least. Because that's like a long one that I never have motivation for. I really need to like put on a really nice video or podcast that's just gonna give me a re, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like I can't just put clothes away. I need to listen to something and I feel like it has to be more than just music unless it's like a new album or something that I'm digging. I'm like more than halfway done. Oh, did I show you the boot? I think it's super cute. This also needs to be, is this the one that's pinned? Do you see this? What? You wanna smell it? Honey, honey. Okay. You're not trying to attack my boot, I know that. Are you the star now? This is Chico. Oh, okay, he's just, you should see him. He's, uh, well, if I move, he's not gonna do it anymore. He's just laying his head on the desk. Cause he probably wants me to let him O-U-T so he can chase the squirrels up the tree. Oh, okay, there we go. He's gonna be in another video, don't worry. He's got the softest ears. I just wanna eat them. Them into a purse. I want to make them into a pillow. Just crawl them into the bill. No, he's just being annoying right now because I'm not giving him enough attention. He's a year and a half and he is psychotic. I'm looking at my coffee. Oh god, I lost my track of thought. Oh, I got into big cleaning sprees when I had homework to do. I would ignore that and clean instead. I think when I was going to school, my apartment at the time was the cleanest it ever was. Um, or like my room when I used to live with my mom during, in like undergrad. <gasps> no! I'm sorry about this content. I'm sorry about this content shit. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do at all. So basically, if you're like me and you tend to ignore maybe the more important tasks for what at that time would be the easier task, basically, you're not the only one. <sighs> Anyways, thanks for watching. If you can relate and you think there are more things you need to relate to, then definitely subscribe because I plan on getting out more rel hashtag relatable content. So subscribe so you don't miss out. Like this video. Okay, bye. I finished. Oh, I can't. I look like crap. I don't have any makeup on. My hair is greasy. I haven't taken a shower yet. I gotta go check on the dog. Ugh. Ouch. I think.
think I'm a little bit... I still haven't shut that drawer from last video that I made two days ago. Um, ouch. Oh. recording I made a latte that's now cold <sighs> what do I want to do now not clean I'm gonna go check on the dog again I have to constantly check on my dog because he likes to climb fences and dig his way out of the backyard. <sighs> Anyways, ouch. I wish I had pliers. I do, I don't know where they are. Probably in my car. I mean, I don't mind if it goes in the rubber, but I don't want it to be that <laughs> difficult. <laughs> All right, cat's crying. I gotta go check on the dog again. I can barely talk and do something at the same time. And they say women can multitask. Not this one. Hi. It has lightning. Oh my god. Can you like go away? <sighs> Nothing makes a video like a cat butt. 